so this generator here runs for about five ten minutes then it just dies like that I'll show you in a second here what the issue is so to show you what's going on here if I take out the drain bolt here from the carb you'll see that gas will flow out then stop So now if I put the bolt back on and wait a few minutes, the same thing's gonna happen. So I'll put it back and wait. Okay, so I've waited a few minutes here. You'll see that there'll be lots of gas flowing out again. And the same thing's going to happen. It flows, then it stops. So that's why the generator is running for a few minutes, uh, dying, and then running again and dying. And that's because of what's going on with the fuel flow. So what I've done here is disconnected the hose from the fuel valve. I'm going to turn it on and you can see there's barely any fuel coming out. So we know it's a problem at the fuel valve, not the carburetor. I usually try to isolate this first before taking the carb off. It saves a lot of time. So what I'll do now is take the valve off. So here's how I tipped the machine over so I wouldn't have to drain all the gas. And make sure to put a safety stand there. Now on most generators you'll need a 14 millimeter wrench to get that valve off. Then it just unscrews from the tank. So there's usually a filter here at the end of the uh, valve. It's probably fallen in the tank. So now I'll take this cover off. I used a 10 millimeter wrench to do that. If you look inside you can see a bunch of dirt in there. So there's a small rubber o-ring you can get out. And here's that screen, it's all dirty. I'm just going to air blow the screen, the valve here, and figure out a filter for it and then put it back on. Okay, everything's clean. Let's put this little screen back in. Now the o-ring and this cap. Now this is made of plastic so you got to be super careful tightening it. Now usually these generator fuel valves have a filter like this that goes on top here. This filter here in my hand goes in the fuel tank thus preventing the fuel valve from getting clogged. But I don't have any screens or filters like this that fit here. So it kind of looks to me that the screen underneath in the plastic bowl here is the filter. Now if you want you can replace the valve with a filter or you can add an extra filter between the carb and the valve if you want. However, this valve here will have to be periodically cleaned. And to clean the valve like I did today, you don't have to take it off the machine like I did. I just took it off because it was easier for me to film, bring it in the shop, and show you precisely what it was. But if you have the same generator, put the valve back on, and then periodically turn the valve off, then take the bottom part off, retrieve the little screen, clean it, put it back in. It's that simple. So now I'll just put the valve back in. I usually screw it quite a ways in and then I tighten up the nut. Okay, got the valve nice and tight. Before I hook up the fuel line, I'm gonna bring the generator back down and do a flow test. Okay, let's try this. Wow, look at that now. Man, before it was barely dripping. So there'll be no issues now. Okay, got the fuel line on. And remember the flow test at the beginning of the video from this bolt here? Let's try it now. It's flowing good now. And steady. Okay, I'll start it up. Get the choke on first here. So that did the trick guys, that's all you need to do. And again, what you can periodically do is turn the valve off and take this little plastic bowl off, retrieve the screen, clean it like I did previously, and then put it back on. So do this maybe once or twice a year, depending on how much you use it. And this machine here should stay running pretty good if you do that. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and have a great day.